Hello everyone, Sir Monkey Shot Zappy here, back again with Seven Deadly Sins. We're on episode two, and in the last uh, slash first ever episode, um, right, we had an event that took place ten years ago, in which a bunch of holy knights um, met their fucking demise. The holy knights are considered like the fucking the the cream of the crop in terms of um, sort of like these warrior heroes in the in the kingdom. Um, I don't know if it's just strictly in the kingdom of Lioness or if it's like. In, or if it encompasses like the whole I don't know but um, but yeah so it's a sort of a fan fantasy sort of anime um, and um, slash sh shonen I believe um, but yeah 10 years later after all of that went down um, we got introduced to um, one of the seven deadly sins uh, people um, and it was also sort of uncovered that um, the seven deadly sins aren't actually the evil doers it's actually the holy knights instead who are covering up the whole ordeal so um so yeah so meliodas obviously the leader of the seven deadly sins uh he is uh uh wrath um i don't know to what like sort of i don't know like why he is considered like wrath out of a lot of them um i'm guessing if he's sort of like the leader i don't know maybe he has like you know um you know, wrath against fucking all of, like the holy knights for basically, you know what I mean? Um, essentially, the, the the holy knights portraying the seven deadly sins. You know what I mean? If he's the leader of it, then you know what I mean. You don't want to fucking face my wrath, motherfucker. Um, uh, but yeah, so uh, one of the uh, royal family members, the prin princess Elizabeth, as she's called, third princess, uh, on the lookout for the seven deadly sins. Um, and uh, obviously she comes across Meliodas and whatever. And now they're setting out to find the rest of the Seven Deadly Sins. Um, and uh, and we'll see what, what, what happens with that. But uh, obviously they're being tracked down by um, somebody from Fort Solgres. We don't know his name yet. But essentially you can probably hazard a guess that he's probably a member of the Holy Knights. Um, and, and yeah, that's that. So yeah, that is uh, all we really need to talk about. So we're going to get into episode two and see what we get. So without further ado, let's go. <laughs> Okay, episode two, right, so, started off um, a little bit of a, a flashback, so it was one month since the uh, Holy Knights took out the the king um, and attacked the royal family. I'm guessing they killed the king, uh, I, you know, it's possible that, it, like, you know, it co could come back, like, in the future, like, they just captured him instead and just, I don't know, maybe tortured him or beat him up or some shit, or just, you know, throw him in a jail cell, maybe. But um, for now, I'm just going to say that they probably killed him. Um, yeah, so in the intro, um, uh, basically, right, well, right there at the end, in the ending as well, like, uh, I really shouldn't be looking at those because uh, I'm, I'm just going to end up getting spoiled. But in the, in the intro anyway, there was uh, it was going through the different marks um, of the... Um, the seven deadly sins which one which was one of my questions in the first episode was like you know do, does each member have a different crest they do um so and one of the marks interestingly enough was an image of uh hawk <laughs> the, the pig so uh i don't know what like you know i'm thinking like maybe the pig is actually a seven deadly sin um but then i don't know why meliodas wouldn't you know point that out to elizabeth um I guess she hasn't asked, but you know, it's just image. It's just interesting that like one of the images is of Hawk. You know what I mean? So, um, we'll just have to wait and see. So yeah, so the the Kim um traveling to Vanya Village, uh, known for its ale. Um, and funnily enough, the you know the most prominent character there is called Mead, because <laughs> of course, right? Um, and uh, and yeah, he's a little uh, little prankster where he's uh, his parents died of an epidemic and sort of like the village kind of took care of him as sort of like a surrogate family as the, the whole lot of them. Um, and because he never really felt like he wasn't truly anybody's son or a part of that family, he just end up playing playing pranks and shit. Um, and uh, and yeah, for, for 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 a second, the fucking villagers were doing my head in because honestly, there's there's uh, you know some things that like really get to me one of them is you know the second hand blame thing i hate i hate it when that kind of shit happens it's happened in mha with um um 
sort of to a lesser degree, but in MHA, there's, there's a character that doesn't like Todoroki generally, like mainly because of his father and stuff. There's like there's shit like that where it's sort of like it's passed on. It's like oh, I hate like you know what I mean. It's I I hate it. So they're like the villagers are like oh my god, it's the seven deadly sins fault that the holy knights are treating us like this, and uh, you know what I mean. And uh, oh, it's Mead's fault because you know what I mean. He was talking about the seven deadly sins. It's like well, why don't you just go to the actual source of the people that are being dicks? I guess we haven't really had enough time to really, you know, get a good grasp of, of how the public sees the Holy Knights. But I kind of had this image in my head of like, well, the Holy Knights are like, you know what I mean, the protectors of the fucking realm. So you'd think that they would be like, you know, looked up to by the public. Uh, I'm guess, I guess I'm just sort of like judging that that's the case and maybe there's more of a fear element involved. Like, oh, there's like, it's it's more respect by fear as opposed to be like as opposed to you know as opposed to them being like sort of like earnest guys and and and, and good guys so well uh i'm, I'm guessing I'm, I'm guessing that must be the case like all the public must be like those villagers like you know it's like oh the seven deadly sins guys fall that are like this and you know what i mean um unable to accept that yeah maybe the the holy knight guys are just dicks um uh, so yeah, Elizabeth um, revealed that she wasn't the king's daughter. Um, that was almost like swept aside almost. Like she didn't go into any further detail. She just said he wasn't my real father. So I, I don't know then. Uh, if, if, I, I hope we'll get more on that. It kind of just, it was like a one line thing and she never went back to it. So I don't know then. I guess it could be a similar situation with what, like, with Mead. I mean, that she seemed to, um, she seemed to comfort him, like, you know what I mean? Because it's, you know, because it was relatable to her. So maybe it's the same thing then. Maybe her parents died and, and she was took under the, you know, the king took her under his wing, maybe, I guess, and raised her as his daughter. Um, but yeah, so Mead pointed out something that, you know, I feel like everybody should know already. Like, you know, even Elizabeth doesn't sort of rec recognize this. Uh, Mead was like, oh, well, the Holy Knights are dicks, right? By the way that they treat the people, right? When they're not supposed to be. Uh, and they're going after the seven deadly sins. So surely, if those guys are dicks, then surely like the the seven deadly sins guys can't be all that bad. Then, you know what I mean? Like, why is it that 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 Mead's the only one to figure that out? <laughs> <coughs> Again, like it might just be a case of like me projecting this uh, this like idea that the public has this image of the Holy Knights as sort of protectors of the realm. I it, it might be because you know, I guess in some aspects i mean but that's the thing is like what one thing that i'm not projecting is this obviously this clear indication that the public sees the seven deadly sins as the bad guys right but even judging by the case of like with vanya village it's obvious you know that you know the holy knights aren't exactly good people like you know either generally you know when it comes to like sort of like one evil going after another evil that generally that's generally not the case you know so it's weird that a kid has to point that out <laughs> you know just so i picked up on so the guy's called uh, sir gil thunder the fuck of the holy knight that we saw with the pink hair um i thought it was odd because when meliodas right took out the, the like you know he pulled the sword out right give it to the fucking give it to the guys to go back to sir sir gil thunder with it and Gilthon had already been there because he had to put the sword in the thing and he, he was like, right, where is it again? <laughs> like, where is it? It's like, you've already been there, mate. Um, I'm guessing it was like the same of like, you know, because over the course of like seven miles, you have to be pretty fuck, you have to be accurate, right? So I'm guessing on some level it was like, it was more folk, like he was asking that as a, you know, whereabouts is it roughly in the direction that we are now? So I'm guessing that's what it was, as opposed to like, oh, he's already been there. And depending on where he's come from, 
it might not be like a straight shot from his fort to the village so you know I'm guessing that's what, just what it was but he fucking threw the spear at the village from seven miles away I, 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 I don't know why for some reason I just love the I love that because I was like oh right he's grabbing this and he's going back there um, and I think a lot of a lot of anime uh, if it was just like a different sort of story like generally more often than not the majority of those shows would have had Sir Gilthunder just like make his way to the village and then just have like a one on one battle with Meliodas right but I think I just love the idea of like because he has because he's capable of doing so just, just fucking chuck the spear seven miles at the village I, I just love the idea of that um and they're able to, to, to sort of... I'm guessing they have a sort of like... A, like Not really psychic, but they have a sense of like... Of like Holy Knight magic. Um, so they can tell when it's... Like when it's... They can essentially pinpoint where it's coming from. Um, so yeah. Um, interestingly enough as well... When Sir Gilthunder threw it, right? It took longer to get there. Now, I know there's, like, anime time, um, where, you know, like, if this was, like, happening in reality, right, like, shit would have already happened already, right? But, like, anime obviously takes the time to, you know, to, like, give you, like, extra exposition, storytelling in there as well, even though, like, in, in real time, it would have already happened by then, right? So I know that there's anime time, but I'm, I'm wondering if there's a case for... Gil Thunder throwing it, right? It took longer to get there. But when Meliodas threw it, it took like next to nothing. <laughs> you know? It took like next to no time. And also the, the the thing is Meliodas was able to sort of catch it. Whereas Gil Thunder actually got grazed by it. So also the graze thing with a spear, that reminds us so much of Leonidas in 300. Where instead of like I, I know, like, if Meliodas was able to kill him, he, he would have. Um, I don't think he, I don't think Meliodas was aiming to just, you know, nick him. <laughs> you know, that would be ridiculous. But um, in 300, obviously, the idea is that like, he chucks the spear and, like, forces it. He, makes it. he basically throws the spear so he doesn't kill him, but he nicks it enough to the guy so the guy, you know, gods don't bleed, but he bled, so he obviously isn't a god. It's basically worse than death for him. Um, but that's just what it reminded me of, because obviously it grazed him on the cheek. Um, but that was, that was fucking cool. I, I, I don't know why. Like, that, that just really, like, sh like, shocked me in a good way. Like, I just like that idea of doing that. Instead of, like, having the, like, just a, the typical one-on-one -on -one fight, you just have, like, one through a spear um, seven miles, and then <laughs> the other person catches it and throws it back. It's just great. I love it. Um... So yeah, that was cool. <clears throat> um, so they mentioned the Forest of White Dreams. Uh, the Holy Knights don't go in there. Yeah, but as soon as it was mentioned, I was like, yeah, th there's clearly probably a Seven Deadly Sins person there. Um, I don't know like to what degree like monsters and beasts in this world, like if they are a threat to the people or not. <clears throat> um, well, we're just going to have to have to wait and see, I guess. Um and yeah, in the ending there, uh, I got spoiled, which, fuck's sake, I, I shouldn't have. But yeah, Diane is uh, that giant S that we keep seeing. So so yeah, I've noticed as well, like the, the sort of images on, um, well, it's pretty, pr fairly freaking obvious now, that the images that are, like, are on the notice board of like the wanted posters and stuff like that are like just, you know, gives you an image of these Seven Deadly Sins people is like, yeah, fuck, they look awesome. But that, I mean, they will have to fit into the art style of, of the actual world. So when the when you actually get around to seeing that characters, they're gonna be a bit more like, you know, not as clear cut, cool as, and, and looking as that. Um, but I wonder if it's like a. Mm, no, I guess it's not. I was wondering if it was like a case of like, if it if it's just art style that the viewers are seeing. But if the characters in the show actually look at that portrait and look at the person and be like, I guess not, because then, because uh, 
yeah, like my mind actually started working and I was like, well, if that was the case, then they would clearly just look at the wanted poster, look at me like Meliodas and be like, yeah, it's the same person. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess not. Um, so it makes you wonder like who put up the wanted posters. Um, like who put them up? Because if they're, if they're really that different, th there's a few ways this could be. If they're really that different to their wanted poster, then that would that would make you think that the people who put them up never saw them before, right? Or they were like that, and they used magic to alter their their appearance. Um, I couldn't tell you which one it is. Uh, there was a little flashback in episode one where you saw Meliodas like, talking to like an injured woman on the floor. Um, and he looked the same there. But again, like, I don't know if that's just a thing for the audience to, like, relate you to, like, oh, yeah, that's Meliodas back then. So, yeah, I don't know. Because it could work in, like, depending on who put up the wanted posters, like, you know, you've got to think, like, yeah. I don't know. Either way, though, they're not going to look the same as their, um... As their as their posters, which kind of sucks, because because uh, Merlin looks very um, very nice. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what what happens then. But uh, but yeah, that is all for um, for seven deadly sins uh, this week. I'll pick up episode three and four uh, next week for you, exclusive to your patrons. Um, and once this is out on the general public, it'll probably be, you know, they'll be released. Uh, every day so yeah uh, so yeah thank you everyone for watching in the description below i have links to certain things one is the discord uh, which i want to go over there join uh you know me and all of the all of the community over there get talking to us so monkeyshoot.com my website all my content is over there so you can go over there and, uh, and uh, check that out and patreon i do have patreon if you don't support me i'll be very much appreciated there's a bunch of different tiers and rewards depending on how much you want to support me with so obviously by the time i'm recording this by the time this actually goes up with the general public it's going to be like eight months from now so some things might have changed but as of now, there is early access, uh, full length, exclusive tier. Uh, you know, go, go over there, have a look, see what the crack is. Um, they all explain exactly what they are. But, uh, but yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.